This morning I'm at a great lakefront estate in Lake Forest, a nice classical house. And these videos are about the house, but first I want to give a little salute to the woman whose house it was. She died last year, Sarah Wood Armour. She was a major supporter of the Lyric Opera for over 50 years, but also was a piece of two different pretty prominent Chicago families. Her husband was an armor. He died several years before. They were the meatpacking family. Her father, General Robert Wood, ran Sears. So this is, a fam this is a set of families who really came together here at this really nice property. We'll go in and when we do, we'll see things like the pediment that are, that's here on the top of the house repeated inside in great classic details throughout the place. Let's go on in and take a look. I'm here in the gallery of this classic estate with Eleanor Dowling, the agent. Eleanor, thanks for bringing me in. I am so in love with this house. I am too. It, it, Sarah Armour uh, decorated it in such a way that it's a, a classic, classic residence. So it tastefully has, done everywhere. Yes. The details of the ceiling and the cove, cove moldings and the uh, niches uh, and the classic fireplace. Uh, it is truly a, a perfect example of everything you want in a Lake Forest home. Oh, absolutely. Really nicely done. And I want to mention the pediment over the door. There are many of them because we see that on the exterior of the house, too. Yes. So it's got that nice sort of seamless connection. But then let's go to the mm -hmm. dining room, which has more beautiful millwork like this room has. It's got yes. the picture frame moldings. But then it's also got these crystal sconces, a beautiful chandelier. And all of that stays with the house. Uh, all of the chandeliers and sconces in the house do stay with it. Uh, and the views of the lake are magnificent. Off the dining room is a kitchen that needs to be updated, but it's mm -hmm. really big. And a large butler's pantry that it's easy to have 115 people here, which we did for the open house, and it just works so smoothly. I would think that's partly because people can flow out into this great grounds that are behind the house, yes. covered with snow now, but I would mm -hmm. imagine beautiful in summer. In the, in the summer, it is absolutely magnificent, and the uh, grounds have underground sprinklers and are maintained to perfection. Mm -hmm. Then off this gallery, we're still working our way around the first floor, we get this wonderful library that has sort of a David Adler De feel, definitely though it's not the by David him. David Adler touches and the bookshelves and the uh, coves, the niches and everything are classic Adler type of uh, things. Really a terrific room. Next to that, going continuing around mm -hmm. it, there's a bathroom that serves a good purpose. It's sort of a pool it's house It's a wonderful house. pool house bathroom because people can come in and change their wet suits and there's a wet bar in that area and have a drink and go back out to the pool without ever messing up the house. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Then we get to one bedroom. It's the only, I think you said it's the only remainder of the original. Right. It's a large guest room that had been the master bedroom suite. And uh, it has a large bath off that. And then at the other end of the house, there, there is a maid's room and an office. Um, it, that, and that makes up the first floor. Because uh, originally this was just a one-story house. A one-story right? house that Stanley Anderson was the architect for. Let's go on up and see what was added on the yes, second floor. Yes, and you'll see the magnificent staircase as we go up. Great. So we came up through that beautiful curving staircase past just one bedroom to this master mm -hmm. suite. Let's talk a little bit about this sitting room because we've got a lot of the details we saw downstairs continue up here. Even though this is an addition, they kept it yes. going very nicely. We've got the great millwork. We've mm -hmm. got this gorgeous fireplace. And the lovely bookshelf niches on either side of the fireplace. Similar to what we saw in the living room. Yes. So when they added the second floor, I guess it was 30 years ago, mm -hmm. they really sort of kept the character of the house. Uh, totally. Oh, that's great. And then the thing they did is they gained this view. If they were only a one-story house before, when they came up here, they must have thought, oh my gosh, look at what we're doing. Looking out over the pool this way, the mm -hmm. lake that way, lifting up like this really get, takes advantage of this setting. Yes. What we don't need is more space in the master because no. this is terrific. We've got four rooms, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the bedroom itself, this, this sitting room. This sitting room uh, is gorgeous. There's another oh. study be uh, bedroom combination and a big additional bath there. So it is just one of the most classic, restful areas I've seen in a house in many, many years. 